All right, y'all. It's the time of the day that you've been waiting for. It is the one show on air that will take you from the boardroom to the bedroom, from politics to the pulpit and everything in between with your favorite friends. You are about to join the crew for Fresh Fire as we do what we do all together. Tune in. What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. We're in the new year with the crew. We're glad that you are checking us out. We got the crew in here, y'all. You see how he throwing shots already at the beginning of the year. Now, now listen, we got a we got a new feature we need y'all to know about. We got some bonus content. Oh, y'all want to see that. There's you some things that. that we talk about oh, that we don't look. get to in the regular show. Yes. So oh. you need to go to Unedited. our Facebook page. Unfiltered. Uh, all that mm. stuff where you can really get the bonus content to see the behind the scenes stuff. How that, these people really act. That, that Tom yeah. be doing to me behind the scenes. <laughs> Please, y'all, go to the Facebook and the YouTube yes. and look at this bonus. I'm telling you, Please. you're going to holler. Yeah, yes. it's, yeah. Good. it's good. It's good. Because this is what it's really like. It is. Mm-hmm. That's what mm-hmm. people really need to understand. Mm-hmm. So how was your holiday, Alvin? Hmm. Look, I need a refund for 2023. Like, I'm in, I'm looking for my check. <laughs> said, oh, a I refund? Need, I need, I need you a got check receipts? in the mail. I need a refund. <laughs> <laughs> I need a refund. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. For sure. For sure. I 2023 think I, was bad for you? You know, what's crazy is how your the best and the worst things can happen at the same, same time. time. Yes. Isn't that crazy? I get that. I get that. Isn't that crazy? Yes. So, like, it was one of my most prosperous years, and I thank God yeah. for that. Let me yeah. be clear. I am absolutely grateful to God for how he has prospered us. But it was also one of the most emotionally weighty years. Yeah. You know, like just stuff on layer after layer after layer. And I used to think that maybe it's just the almost the cosmic balance of things, mm-hmm. right? Like that we don't appreciate the sun unless you've experienced some rain, right. you know? But I also realize that some of it is just dumb decisions. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, just some stupid mm-hmm. decisions. And that's all parties because I am not absolving myself of some dumb decisions also. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is sometimes you don't, either you don't hold yourself accountable at the level that you should have mm-hmm. or you don't hold some of the people that you love or, in, or allow into your world accountable at the level that you should have and both of those things have cost associated with them you know and so and if any of y'all are parents you absolutely understand yes lord let me just say that your children will take you places that no one else can or Mm. will Mm. and you love them more than you love the air you breathe and yet they are the ultimate mirror in your face for anything that you have and have not done yes inside of your universe Listen. okay yeah i saw a facebook meme one time that said it's hard raising the you out your child My. <laughs> yes lord it's, glory it's, yes lord okay. cuz how do you correct what you know is you what you yes. know is you is your DNA? Oh, please, is, let's is be clear. What, I mean, we are just as guilty. Which is yes. why sometimes okay. I, can't, I don't even get mad no more. I just, I just shake my head. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. yeah, that's me. Yeah, yep. yeah that's me. And that's sometimes. that stuff when your parents are like, yeah. I hope you that live is, long yeah. enough yeah. to have to raise yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Your parents be speaking that over you. Yeah. Okay. My and let me just God. tell y'all, I'm going to speak it over my kids, too. My, I hope yeah. y'all live long enough. Everything you do. Everything you do. will come back to you. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Tom, how was your holiday? Well, I hope your year this year is better. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we declare 2024. Absolutely. Everybody's gonna be acting right. I Absolutely, that. I get that. <laughs> Ton, how was yours, man? I see you uh, got copyright over there, I man. I got copyright over yeah. here. So no, I know. Mean, he's my bra- he is the brand. Yeah, so someone, you know, my wife gave me this sweatshirt she had it made. Um, I was shaking. <laughs> and actually, I thought I was going to have to shake Walmart. So, uh, <laughs> you going to shake a whole store, man. A whole store, a whole brand. <laughs> this I man is I not scared. Shake them because I got my son the uh, PlayStation VR 2, the virtual reality 2. Mm-hmm. And when I, I got it from the Walmart, and when I went to uh, gift wrap it, wrap it for Christmas, the seal had been broken. Yikes. Mm. Someone had opened both the outer box Uh-oh. and the inner box and had broken the seal <gasps> off it. Mm. And they sold it to me, brand new, y'all. Oh, Ooh. no. Oh, no. And it was two days before Christmas. Oh, no. And I'm talking about like 8 o'clock at night, two oh, days my. before Christmas. Okay. So were you able to take it back? Uh, no, they wouldn't even pick up the phone. Oh! Mm. 
Mm-hmm. But you know me. Oh, I know oh, you. Yes. I, I, we know I, how I this shake went. on a professional. We, <laughs> we know how this went. So yeah. what I did is I went to their competitor because I could spend my money anywhere. I know yes, that's Yes, you can. Right. And I went and purchased the same thing plus the bonus package from their competitor. And return the other. And I returned the other one. Amen. And I said, I'll Sometimes hit you where you, you need to be hit, mm. in your pocket. My, my, my. And you that's would you never, ever get me purchasing another electronic equipment That's how you, you do it. Mm. That's how you do it, Tony. That's how you do it. I'm going to go white chicks on you. I'm writing a letter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using all the SAT words. Yeah. I am writing a letter. So you are representing your brand. I am yes, sure. yes, representing yes, my yes. brand. Yeah, and, and I'm going to shake them with a letter. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay? Okay. You know, I just want you to know there's some people uh, that told me that, you know, they don't think Commonwealth Attorney should be shanking people. But I, I, I just, I just want you to know. Here. Who he, am I? You, I'm that's just saying. Right. You do Tom, that for a living. He's Tom. I'm that's, Tom. He but is a private citizen. I'm a private citizen. Oh, he's a private citizen in here. He's a private citizen in here. Yeah, yeah. As he's much as y'all talk about pastors in here, you want to talk about <laughs> private citizen in here. Is that where we go? We might be able to use some choice words as a rap this year. Since we we ran Cam this year, we might be ready for him this year. Don't act like y'all already know you use no choice words. So don't be trying. <laughs> don't be trying to play the audience. I'm just saying. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's why they be getting in timeout. That's why Tommy put him in timeout. That's why I put him in timeout. Because he always trying to use behind, some, look, some, some I go back words behind words the veil on, on that point right <laughs> there. Let's go back behind the veil. How was your there. holiday, man? But, my holiday to... was good, man. It was it was, it was was phenomenal. Of course, no shame in my game. I've been going to all my friends, all my people. <laughs> and I literally have been, you know, shopping at everybody's house. I've been taste testing food. Yes, sir. I have had an absolute wonderful wonderful time, and I have no shame about the weight that I have gained. Okay, listen, hey. man, I'm happy listen. with that. I'm gonna be in the gym in January. Fast right. begins. You gotta have something to fast from and something to lose. So <laughs> I think is. you might as well put it on. So and you watch yourself take it listen, off. Listen, all of my young ladies were home. I, I was know glad, your pictures were so happy. cute with I'm, all your girls. Listen, I was just cheesing. That from daddy idiot. loves his girls. Yeah. So mm-hmm. then, then the, the baby hit me with the haymaker. Uh-oh. What's the haymaker? The haymaker is gone for six months, study abroad. Now, I can't argue with this part. Full scholarship. Oh, well, they, they know haymaker. Okay. So, so, oh, so. a haymaker is I'm pregnant. I don't know who the daddy is. Yeah, yeah, that yeah that's a haymaker. <laughs> now, that, that's a haymaker. That's a haymaker. That's a we got to go to break. Well, well, that, we got to go to break. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't, don't take that no further. Uh, yeah. We going to end right there. That's, that, that, that's, that's a haymaker. But you but need she, to use your words. <laughs> she'll be a career for six months. Good that's word, a haymaker. Wait, wait to end that. that that's a good she'll word. She'll be a career for six months. For the record, he needs to use his words. Because somebody listening said, Negro, that, that ain't, ain't no haymaker. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my haymaker. That's my haymaker. Get out of here. And on that Listen note, we're going to take a break. Talking. We're going to be back with more of the crew. <laughs> Welcome back to the crew here on mm-hmm. WHOV 88.1 and mm-hmm. all social media yes. outlets. Happy New Year to everybody. Yes, Our first show New back. Year. Glad to have everybody here. Uh, Sia's not with us today, but we give her a shout out. And of course, we got to give a shout out to our producer extraordinaire, Woo-hoo! Jason Covington, who always does a great the job man. holding it down. The legend. And so don't the forget hero. also that this year we're doing bonus content. We now, if y'all want to yes. see the crazy, <laughs> the real crazy, you want to know what this really looks like? You need like? to go to the mm. bonus content mm. to see how we really act, you know, because we on radio, you know, so we have to act a certain way and talk a certain way. <laughs> Hmm. But the bonus content ain't on the radio. <laughs> so I can tell Ton how I really feel about it. <laughs> I can really shank you the way I want to shank you. Right? That's okay. how it works. All right, that's how it that's works. How it works. So check, it works. check it out on our social okay. media outlets, the right. bonus content. Right. Y'all are in for right? it. Now, Ton, you you the resident uh, subject expert of the show. He's yes. our content, content creator, creator. Is that what he is? He's content, our content yep. creator. creator. Yep, he is. What are we talking about today, man? Mm-hmm. Y'all... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, nobody, somebody started like that, man. Y'all, y'all. I'm serious, y'all. I'm, I, I went in this 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 week because I saw some stuff that I it took me out. It just took me out because I just couldn't believe that entitlement when it comes to Christmas mm-hmm. or to mm-hmm. certain mm-hmm. holidays mm-hmm. or maybe even mm-hmm. birthdays mm-hmm. have gotten at this level, mm-hmm. but we are here. Mm-hmm. Forget thinking about getting there. We are now here. So there's a couple of stories. I'm going to give you the lighter one first. Okay. 
the lighter one was a TikTok video where this father, uh, it's Christmas time, and this father, he uh, gives a gift to his two boys. They look like they're about maybe 9, 10, 11, somewhere in that range. And they are opening this, this gift. You know how they open up the papers and they see it's a PS5 box. Mm. So they're screaming, like, oh, man, oh, wow. I mean, just happy, galore, loving life the whole night. And when they open the box, it is a PS4. Mm. The one... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a... So the father is playing a joke on his son, <laughs> right? Sound like somebody do. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. Yeah, I it's do that. a PS4, but it is the reaction of the sons that had social media saying, "Who fault is this?" Mm-hmm. Because one son gets up and walks away. <laughs> he doesn't say anything, right? But the disappointment That's on his face wild. is like. I can't believe this Negro did this to us. <laughs> that's that that's the look he wild. had on his face, right. and he walks away. That is a form of entitlement alone. All mm, by because itself. you still yep. got a PS4. Right. right. That's first thing. Right. The other son gets enraged and starts hollering and screaming, picks up the PS4 out the box, and he's doing like this, like, like holding it up in the air, and he throws the PS4 against the wall. All right, two questions. (laughs) These black people. These are black people. That's that's the thing. That's the thing right there. They us. They us. This is us. Everyday black people, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How old are the kids? Like I said, they look like they're probably like 10. They could have been like 12. Some Maybe some 13. If, they're, if they're short, they could have been potentially 13. 13 yeah. They're definitely not older than 13. So no. they're tweens. They yeah, tweens. tweens. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's yeah. a good they're probably yeah, tweens. Yeah, yes, so tweens. maybe late elementary, middle school kids. Somewhere around. Yeah, 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 10 yeah. to 13, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would say yeah. 10 to 13, or maybe more like 11 to 13. Mm. Okay. And they pick up the PS4. One, one of, them. of them. And throws, throws it. it against the wall. Because throws it's a PS4 and not a On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. And the father said, boy, with the bleep wrong with you. <laughs> What's the, what the bleep wrong with you? And the father is like, go up to your room. Yeah. That's all he said. That's, the, that's well, all he told him. That's, that's all, all that's on the video. Right, right. Right. We, don't that's all on the video. video. we don't know what else right. went we don't on. Because uh, there was Prior a part two. two. There was a part two. <laughs> yeah, just to do the part two. Right, there was a part two where you could see the PS5 is out. So there was a PS5. And the father is playing the <laughs> PS5, and the one that threw it against the wall sit is watch. sitting there, and he just watching. <laughs> <laughs> like that is part of his punishment. Yes, oh, Lord, today. Lord. Mm, and mm, there's mm. other family members there, so you can see that there's a table set up and people sitting down eating maybe. So the family is over now, and he has to now sit down and watch the father play the game that he should have been playing. Throughout so the, the fathers played a prank on the kids. Yes. Mm-hmm. And instead of the kids reacting the way they were supposed to, yes. the, the act kid a acted a fool yep. on acted Christmas Day. Pure mm-hmm. fool. Now, one of them, like I said, walked away. He just walked away. That's still so inappropriate. It's, it's still inappropriate. Mm-hmm. His, if you could have seen his face when, when he walked walking away. away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he had a look on like, Negro, yeah. I could call you some things right Right, now. right, yeah. That, that was the look like he had he, on his yeah. face. But he held it in. Total, yeah. But he it was a it total disrespectful look on his face. Yes. Like, like, like he tried how, to fight his dad. Yeah, there we go. Right like he was trying to fight his dad. There we go. Like, like if, if I thought I could take you out, I would. I would. All right, so let me just ask this. Have all of us gotten a gift that we didn't want for Christmas? Absolutely. Absolutely. Huh? Yeah. Absolutely. How, how did you respond? You better it? respond like, oh, H- it's how, an how avocado. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, there you go. So you, re- you responded nicely. You smiled. Yeah. You didn't get I love you avocados. Yeah. You yeah. were yeah. truthful? <laughs> like, like, yeah. No, no, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I one time, because uh, mm-hmm. people sometimes, but because I dress, particularly like with ties and stuff like that, we'll give you ties and or whatever. Got an ugly time sometimes. Yeah, I've gotten an ugly time before from from uh, a <laughs> and you mentee. Re, I can and you I remember specifically it. from a mentee gave me uh, a tie that wasn't a, 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 a nice tie. 
high. And uh, I was like, thank you. I appreciate it because the thing is, you took your hard-earned money mm -hmm. yeah. and mm -hmm. you bought it for me. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. the fact is, it's not my style, so but I guess what? I'm still it. grateful that you even you thought about, about me you wanting exactly. to give me something. Right. Especially given the fact that you don't have a, uh, he was a college student. So oh, I was even a lot of more money. That's touched sweet. by that. Yeah. So Some of those things you just put in a keepsake box. You just box. put in a keepsake box, and that's what yeah. I did. And yeah. I was like, you know, that's something this that you really gave sweet. me. really sweet, right. Right. And so you, you, one thing my mom has always taught me, and Don't others be who've ungrateful. been older than me has always taught me, Always be grateful. That's yeah. right. Because people don't have That's to be nice right. to you. They people do don't have That's to do right. anything for you. Please so, say that. So please, please mm -hmm. always remember mm -hmm. to be grateful. grateful. I agree. Yes. Now I'm asking y'all, did y'all get something not as adults because we know how to manage our emotions. As a kid, did you ever come in the room Christmas Day? You excited and and it just wasn't and you, that exciting. It wasn't. It wasn't what you, what you wanted. Yeah, you yeah but you money? better act right. How did you? I, act? How did you? But act? I grew up in a West Indian family. Yeah. You act a fool. You may never see a Christmas again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's it would be. never. Literally never literally. see. Literally. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, you not eating that day. You not sleeping in sheets. Because Christmas is canceled. <laughs> okay. Right. Like, because I don't owe you any. Christmas is about Jesus Christ. Hey. Technically, I don't owe you anything right. at all. It's his so, birthday. It ain't yours. Yeah, like this ain't yours. <laughs> so, like, for you to have the audacity to have an attitude right. about something somebody was willing to do for you. In Spanish, they call it maligradecito. Mm. Like, you are ungrateful. Mm. There's nothing uglier than ungrateful people. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what Say age it. you are. I, don't, I cannot stand Stand say ungrateful it. people. And I'm not saying that you need to lick people's boots every day to say thank you, mm -hmm. but I am saying live your gratitude. You know, like oh, you just, yeah, be, be, uh, my gosh, I don't know, I don't have to. <laughs> okay, like I just, I don't have to. Man, you don't oh, have man. to. And I'm gonna tell you, growing up in the hood, I don't remember getting any gifts that I did not appreciate because there was scarcity. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so the Please fact know. that I got something alone was be happy. A big thing. Yep, be you know, happy. Uh, and and mm -hmm. that I got multiple things alone that was something to be appreciative of because I didn't have to get anything. So mm -hmm. I just don't I don't ever remember mm -hmm. getting something that I just wasn't excited to get. I just don't remember that. Now I know it's a different generation where people mm -hmm. have means mm -hmm. and resources mm -hmm. and they 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 we we probably spoil our kids and over Majorly. over kill with, mm -hmm. with the gifts. I know I can be guilty of that, but at the same time it's because I check that attitude. Mm -hmm. If you have a gracious and mm -hmm. a very uh, grateful attitude, that makes me want to bless you even more because I love the fact that you are appreciative of just anything that mm -hmm. someone did for you. And when mm -hmm. I see uh, ingrate, that's what I call Word. it. Uh, ingrate. <laughs> Word, I can't do it. You don't get anything. No, I I, I'm with you. Uh, true story. You know, I have a nonprofit, and uh, every year we used to do Christmas gifts uh, for underprivileged kids. Mm -hmm. Invite their families in, have a meal, open the gifts. Notice I said we used to do it. Mm. It got to a point where uh, one time that we did it, you know, we had all these bikes, spent all this money, people giving Angel Tree, you know, all this, first of all, the stuff that they're asking for is major in and of itself, mm -hmm. right? And then you finally get it. I'll never forget there was one time where we got this nice bike, and the mom and the, and the kid looked at us after the bike. This is your bike. And they were like, that's all you got. Wow. Wow, I can't. Is that all you got? Wow, I can't. I can't. Is that all I got? What? Give me the bike. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're doing this out of the goodness of our heart for you, and you're still not like you don't. And and I will tell you, mm -mm. in some cases, mm -mm. we had more parents and adults who were ungrateful mm -hmm. than the kids. I understand why you say you used to. And, yeah, and, and I, I'm, listen, I mean, you know, I understand. Why and you say you and it's that kind of spirit that you're right. It just made you sometimes be like, you know, why are we killing ourselves every for year? This. Right. It's 
free. Yeah. Yeah. It's for your kid. Mm -hmm. Please, no. You saying that you can't afford to do it yourself, mm. and you get an attitude? Mm. And that's right. that entitlement nonsense, okay? Mm. Because people are under the impression that entitlement only happens when you're rich and you're doing oh, all no. kinds of things. And that is not true. That is not true. There is, a, there is even an entitlement that could be present even in poverty. Oh, absolutely. Where I expect expect you to do something like I can't tell you how many times I've I've listened to cases I have watched individuals as we built programs throughout the cities you know that folks were like well somebody's going to take care somebody needs to take care of these kids they need some shoes they need such and such but baby you made these kids all right and you are talking about somebody's not doing their job somebody mm. who has nothing to do with how these kids got here mm -hmm. nothing to do with any of your decision making that it's somehow somebody else's job to figure out how to make sure these kids have what they need and they are serious mm -hmm. like it's not like I'm trying to be funny they are dead serious about this is your responsibility mm -hmm. to make sure my kids have what they need mm -hmm. and you stay making new ones like it's and let's crazy. jump on that bandwagon and we'll turn around and make some more kids they can't afford that's exactly what I said stay making new ones yeah make some more oh and, absolutely and, and, and then say the same thing for those oh yeah instead of taking some some responsibility, personal accountability. some personal accountability, and say, you know what? Let you know me what? Let me make some different decisions. The situation yep, let that me make we're some different in. decisions. Let me make some different decisions. Yep, absolutely. Maybe let me wear some contraceptives or make that person uh -oh, wear some yep, contraceptives. Yep. Something to better the outcome because right. I already know what this outcome could potentially be. And maybe if I should I stop having babies with road. Negroes who ain't gonna do nothing. Huh? Okay, like, how about that? Like, how about how about that? How about the fact that he already had four before you decided to have the fifth one for oh, him see, that he wasn't taking care of in the first place? Yes, so is. why did we have number five with him when he didn't even take care of one through four? Mm. What makes you think you're going to be different, baby? Mm. Like, this is just wild to me what it is we're doing, and we and then we play victim inside the situation. Mm -hmm. These, it's the personal accountability that gets me. Like, just own your stuff. If we mess up, we mess up. Sometimes we mess up, and it's fun. you know it is what it is. it is. But stop blaming everybody else for how you got here. You decisioned your way straight to where you're standing right now, sis. So let's just cut it out. Same thing is true with dudes who date trash women, and then be like, she crazy, she this, she that. Yeah. Like she crazy. was crazy when you saw her in the club. She was crazy in the corner. Your boys told you she was crazy. You didn't want to listen to anybody because she had a big booty. That's it. And now you got yourself attached to this chick for the rest of your life because you didn't want to listen to anybody. <laughs> like, no, this you is, should have listened to BBD. Listen. <laughs> don't trust the, the big brother. What, 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 what are we doing? But, but, what are we doing? But, but, but here's my question. In, in, in all of that, you're right, Alvin. You're absolutely right. How did that lead to entitlement? Because that's what I'm still trying to understand. It's a lack of accountability for actions and decisions. And what we end up doing is we end up lightening the load when people make these decisions repeatedly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We, we blame and project things in other places. But entitlement of, is, I'm expecting of, you to do this. See, well, that, well, but he, but he, where the expectation but comes are. from, though? Yeah. That's where it comes from. Yeah, so right. when, you, when you do not get the repercussion of immediately your decision, of your decision, you, now you begin yep. to develop an ethos and thought process that says, He's right. it's okay for me to think this and way. And somebody's and fix somebody it for else me. has got yep, to fix yep, it. It's going to fix it for me. Other than me. He's right. That's the whole you teach a man to fish. Like if you if you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man a fish, he eats for a lifetime. Sometimes the problem is, even though we may be well intentioned, mm -hmm. be it parent or community servant, we may be well intentioned in our efforts to give to those who are in need. And this is by no means to take a political position that says, let's starve those who are already already starving. That's not what I'm saying. Mm. I'm not saying let's cut social program budgets. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that there's a reason the Bible says the poor you will have with you always. Spirit. Because there is a spirit and a mentality that goes with that, that if it's not disrupted, if it's not interrupted, you can find yourself entitlement. Mm -hmm. There is a poison that comes with privilege and there is also a prison that comes with poverty. Mm -hmm. Both of them are Do problematic. Again, okay? Do Do Both are problematic. And I said a poison that comes with privilege mm -hmm. and there is a prison that comes with poverty. Both are a 
100% true. And it's the same spirit mm -hmm. just working from two different directions. Yeah. That's all it is. So when we keep handing our kids stuff, because I am guilty of this as a helicopter parent. Let me tell you people at home, don't do it, okay? All right, like, I am guilty of this. I don't always let my kids suffer the consequences of their decisions. decisions. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, yeah. the expectation is mom's going to fix, fix it. Fix it. And even when they don't speak it, they expect it. Right. And I created that because in my desire to try to make sure that my little brown babies don't have to deal with some of the nonsense mm -hmm. that comes sometimes in this America with what it means to be brown in this world, mm -hmm. I worked to, you know, it's almost like the puddle. You lay your cloth over the puddle so mm -hmm. your kids don't have to step in that thing. But sometimes they got to feel they that gotta mud. Feel they they got to feel that <laughs> wet yep. to understand how to walk around it to build something to cross over it sometimes and to ha and to endure it sometimes yep. Yep. sometimes they have to go through it yep. and they got to have the resilience to endure it, it but because sometimes i i protected them of the consequences of the natural decisions, there is an expectation of things that is sometimes unspoken. Some, I think a lot of our children lack an internal harness mm -hmm. of understanding where boundaries are mm -hmm. and what is acceptable and what is not acceptable and what is doable and not doable. That internal harness is what lets you know, if I walk up to you and take something that belonged to you... You go to like, jail. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Right there. He said, let me tell you how well, this is Outside of his role of being Commonwealth attorney, he is going to press some charges somewhere. You're going Absolutely. to jail. Immediately, that just came out. Now, if you yeah. were to take the same thing with an eight-year-old that has never been corrected. Yeah. That eight-year-old walks up and thinks that this water belongs to yep, him. and I'm him, taking it. And I'm taking it because he wants it. And what we do in our society today, and Alva, you can help me with this in terms of, I don't even know what the definition of this is, but I hear the term a lot. Mm -hmm. Gentle parenting. Mm -hmm. The idea of where, well, maybe you shouldn't take what that, that, that doesn't belong to you. Maybe you shouldn't take that and, and you gently try to figure out how to correct them and, and put it back in place and that sort of thing. It, from, from our day, what our mama used to tell us when we used to go to the store, when we get up in this store, <laughs> come on, don't, <laughs> don't you touch your hands no. on nothing, don't Please touch no. nothing, don't say come nothing, on. and you better make sure you walk right pockets. beside mm -hmm. me and don't let me have to call mm -hmm. you more than once. Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like, ain't nothing gentle parent about that. Well, that's, that's, that's like participation trophies. Yeah. Oh, Today. man, don't even go there. Like, you play a sport, you done lost every game lost in the season, every game. but you get a trophy. <laughs> I remember one time, uh, my kid played, my son played in a, um, yeah. in a league, and he got a participation trophy. I took it from him. Thank you. No. <laughs> Thank you. You took it. Took you, it from you him. You didn't win. Yeah, <laughs> took it from him. You got a trophy. You only get trophies for winning in this house. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And, and he was upset. And I'm I said, witness on that. if you want a trophy... Next year, go win. That's it. So I'm going to say something that's going to offend a lot of women. And I love y'all. I want y'all to know. But I love you enough for to be honest about us as women sometimes. <laughs> okay? Yes. All right? This gentle parenting business. Y yeah. And Do this, it. this this stuff that we're doing right now with all the participation trophies, mm -hmm. that did not originate with men. Mm. That A lot of that is us women wanting to make people feel better about the facts mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. And there is a strength that comes with being emotionally intelligent, and I am for that. Yeah, I got what you're saying. But yeah. sometimes we overcorrect. And in our attempt to bring emotional intelligence and awareness to, to deal with issues of trauma, we have overcorrected to the point that we have bubble-wrapped mm. children, mm. and they are becoming weak adults. And we are responsible for that. Jason, so come on, get the organ. I'm now. just so I'm just saying she is that they're, good today. the problem with it is that when these weak adults w become partners to our own children, mm. we end up with weak families mm. because of these weak adults mm. that were a byproduct of bubble wrapping children. Mm. And so then we find ourselves having to raise our own freaking grandchildren because we have weakened the generation that made them. Mm. And there is a, a proverb or a story that says that strong, strong men yeah. make easier times. Yeah. 
Easier times, times make weak, weak men. men. Weak men make hard times. Right. Hard times make strong, strong men. men. And we keep going through the cycle. cycle. Yeah. And that somewhere in there, we've got to figure out the balance yeah. between. And we haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. We keep swinging the pendulum from trauma to too much ease. Trauma to too much ease. Mm -hmm. When the health is in the middle, middle, but nobody wants to do the middle. Yeah. Because the middle doesn't get likes. The middle doesn't get controversy. Mm -hmm. The middle doesn't get clicks. Mm -hmm. The middle doesn't get the attention. The extremes get the attention. And that's why we're moving from God to Satan and God to Satan. Mm -hmm. You know, like instead of really recognizing that there is a space we are supposed to live. Mm -hmm. People don't want to acknowledge the fact that really the health is in the gray, but we live our lives. It's either black or it's white, but mm -hmm. really it's in the gray. It's the moral middle of these decisions yep. that we need to find our way back to. But because we are addicted to attention and clickbait and drama, we don't do the middle because the middle is too healthy and safe mm -hmm. and there's no, there's no scandal in the middle. In the middle. There's no sensationalism in the middle, which brings us to, you know, the second part of what you, you're going to um, mention to us, Ton. When there's no harness and no line of understanding of there are consequences to my actions, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden we end up with young people that don't value life and they end up taking what they see on the video game and putting that in a real life situation by impulse. Mm -hmm. yep. So mm -hmm. there is the second part. Well, hold on before you get there, because you said on social media the question was who is at fault? Yes. The parent or the child that yes. threw the PS4. Correct. Now, I just, I, before we get to that part, I want to mention something because Alvin, you hit it on the head about weak parents because all of us are parents. Let's establish that. Yep. Yep. No parent wants their child to have a bad Christmas. Absolutely. No. We all agree to that, right? Yep. Yes. And sometimes we go overboard. A hundred percent. Been there, done it. Not 100%. just for the kid, but so we can feel good as right. parents. Just right. The excitement so, of the child, child opening up that gift and yeah. being excited. Correct. Yeah. That is a feeling. Yeah. That the is serotonin. Yeah. That yes. is, yeah. Yeah. But here's the problem, and it's true. Yeah. And sometimes we give them all that stuff, and they didn't earn it. They sure mm -hmm. did not. Because they got Fs. They got <laughs> suspended. <laughs> okay. They, well, got, they got kicked out. Well, let me pause you. Because, see, I don't, again, as, as they're going to hear in the bonus content, <laughs> make sure y'all go to the bonus <laughs> content. He doesn't I reward do not bad reward behavior. bad behavior. <laughs> I get it. I don't care who you are. But a I lot of, do not reward bad behavior. But That's a, the parents for But a lot that. of weak parents do. Well, whatever. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not saying it's you. I, no, no, no. But I, I need you to hear this. Because <laughs> I need you to. I mean, this, is to this is the core. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a core issue for me. Yeah, yep. I, I do not believe, that's probably why I am such a good prosecutor. I believe in accountability and I also believe in positive reinforcement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like the reason why my son got the gift that he got this year is because he was a straight A student. He yeah. earned it. He's been a straight A student for the last two years. He grinded it the out. The boy don't give me no problems. Right. Yeah. I mean, no, he don't give me no problems. Right. He, 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 he a teenager. Right. But, right. but outside but being just, just a normal, normal, normal teenager. Teenagers, teenagers, like yeah. The crazy stuff and right. the drama stuff, he'll give me that. And then the other piece of it, the brother worked this summer as a 15-year-old yeah. and worked during the springtime. Yeah. So I'm like, you have consistently yep, yep, demonstrated yep, to me yep. good choices. Correct. Yep. Right. And so, and, and here's the thing, when he opened his gift, I explained to him why he why got, he got it. it. Right. Come yep. on and because talk. I feel like Holy Ghost. But listen, I, let's, I need y'all to understand. Tom, let, me say, let me just say parents one need thing. to parent their kids. kids yeah, but and see, what I was just let me say one yeah. quick thing because I honestly think that if we all had the experience that you have of being able to see the consequence of what happens Come when on. you don't parent with yeah. structure and when you reward the wrong things and when you don't reinforce the right things, mm -hmm. you see what that actually turns into. Yeah. So the conviction that you have cool. is so yeah. strong so because strong. daily you can see this is why I don't play around with these things because I am not going to have somebody out here judging and making a decision for my son's life the way today. that you have to do that for other people's children every single day. Come on, Kev, you remember it was about... Two, three years ago, my son, I put him on punishment. For yeah, for like two and months. I told you, yeah. And it was like, it was, cause I said, that's a man move. I said, I said, that's a man move. I remember that. I said, oh no, Joker. Not today. And, 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 and Dad was like, 
Todd. But yeah. it's been but so but long. And this you thing, would I not said, let up. No, I said, you don't understand. <laughs> I am fighting for his future. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. got to see. He really I, did I say that, you understand He was not playing that guys. the consequence yep. is so severe yeah. that when he is tempted yeah. to go there again, <laughs> yeah. he's he going to say, never, that Negro oh. crazy. <laughs> I, if yeah. I do this, he already shown me yep. that's the key. what it's going to be like. That's yep. the key. I agree. Already yep. shown and me. What I'm telling you mm -hmm. is that for a lot of parents who want to make sure that their child has everything nice on Christmas Day because in some ways it affirms us as yes. good yes. parents. Yes. yes, We will overlook we gotta fix all that. the stuff we gotta fix that's that. done happened throughout yep. the year. Yep. And yep. you tell me why am I in line mm -hmm. getting $230 Jordans <laughs> got when you ain't, you've been suspended from school, yeah. you're fighting, you cussing me yeah. out, yeah. And, and yet I'm in line yeah. trying yeah. to get you Jordans for L Christmas? Listen, that happened. Let, let, me, tell about, let me tell you about let me tell you about Betty and Raymond. Some pay less. My sophomore year at Bethel, hmm. when I was, you know, back in the day when we went to Five Star, you had to get invites when right. we went. So my sophomore year, I get my invite back the second time. All of a sudden, I came home with four Ds and two Fs. What? Mama, lucky you live. Oh, like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. I, well, I can't tell you what happened because we on radio. That's bonus that. content. That's bonus content. But I can tell you this much. I can tell you this much. Before I could even respond back to Garfunkel and them, they ripped all that up to shreds. Yes. So, and it was, you're going to work a job this summer. You're going to both sessions to go. summer school. Mm -hmm. And this car that you got that I done got you, mm -hmm. you ain't driving that this summer. That's right. You're happening. catching the bus to go down That's to work. Right. And you're going to get there on time and mm -hmm. get back here on time. And you might not even play summer league. Matter of fact, I don't even think I played summer league that summer. That's right. So, so it, but now that produced this five degree dude sitting here today. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. See, but if it hadn't been for that, I'd have just been like everybody else. And the part that parents need to understand is they got to look at the future of where the kid is headed and not about them feeling good right now for the moment. Mm -hmm. And so the point that I... And endure the pain. And I agree. And the issue, so you can go to the next one. The issue that I have, as you said in the next video, he's playing the PlayStation in front of his kid. And he's making the kid watch. <laughs> see, I love that it. ain't enough for me. <laughs> see, oh, see, for me, I, I the yeah, PlayStation would have been in the box. It would have And I would have told you, you going with me to the store. To take and you're going to see me return it. Oh! <laughs> That's what you're going to do. Oh! Since you want to act like this. No, oh. I ain't going to play it. you going to go with me. And you're going to tell wait. the you person, gonna you why am I taking it back? You're going to turn it back in? No, you're going to tell I like that. I like that. That's what you're going to do. I like that. That way, you didn't go to jail for hurting nobody. But that will hurt him more. Yeah, Watch him box it up. Let's yes. get in the car. And I'm going to put it on box social it. media, too. Yeah, let's get in the car. Watch so me. Let everybody understand. Take it back in. <laughs> no, no, I, I, ain't, I ain't going to play it in front of you. No, no you going with me to the store. Yeah, I like, the, I like to play it in front of him. I like that. Well, no, because eventually he going to end up playing it. I would have played it in front of him for no, a whole no, year. Uh -uh. Yeah. For a whole year, he'd have watched me play. Nah. No, you need to go with me to the store. Turn it and everything. I'm going to put it in the box. Take it back. Wrap it up. Take it back. Let's go back tomorrow. I think y'all should vote on that. Vote on that. Take it back or play. Take it back or play. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> you throwing back. a PlayStation up against the wall? <laughs> like Andre Cross said, take me back. Take it back. <laughs> take it back. That's what I'm saying. You, you gone. <laughs> take yeah. it back. Now you got another story. You yeah, said yeah, that, yeah, was yeah. That, that, that was the light one. That was the light, light one. one. Come that on, was man. The light one. That's the light one because see, Watch this. when you don't nip it in the bud. Oh, mm. you get to this one. You can hear. Okay. Yeah. okay. When you don't nip it in the bud, it can go somewhere else. Yeah. My pressure already high. Okay. Right? Well, well, this, you but your pressure really go up now. Yeah, you need to get your pill now. Yeah, get your pill now because <laughs> your pressure really about to go up now. So Christmas Eve. Oh Lord. Lord, help me today. Christmas Eve. Now this has been reported on. NBC, CBS News, Fox News, it, this is viral. Yes. Okay, this yeah. is viral. And I've read all the versions because I wanted to get all the, the facts and absorb yeah, the all whole the whole picture. picture. Mm -hmm. I wanted the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Christmas Eve, a 23-year-old young mother of an 11-month-old baby mm. and a 6-year-old child goes Christmas shopping with her mother, her 14-year-old sibling, brother and her 15 year old sibling brother and while they're out shopping the 14 year old brother gets mad at the family mm -hmm. particularly the 15 year old mm -hmm. because he felt that he was getting more gifts or better gifts mm -hmm. than, than he was getting mm. so an argument ensued between the 14 year old and the 15 year old brother mm -hmm. 
to the point where they had to stop shopping and they go to the grandmother's house because the 23-year-old is going to work later and she's dropping off her six-year-old son and her 11-month-old Month baby. baby so the grandmother can watch. While at the house, grandma house, the 14-year-old is still fussing about getting, I guess, less, less, gifts, less, gifts, less gifts or less quality gifts. And so he wants to fight with the 15-year-old. Talk about it. Pulls out a gun. Come on, man. Yes, yes. Wait, 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 so wait. Done yet. Pulls out a gun and try to entice the 15-year-old to fight him. 15-year-old will not fight him. Matter of fact, they break him apart. But before they break him apart, the 14-year-old tells the 15-year-old, I will shoot you in your head. Now, remember, the fight started and these are over siblings. gifts. Yeah. And these they are siblings. siblings. One year apart, siblings. And he says to him, I will shoot you in your head. Mm. So... A uh, uncle is there, which is the brother of their mother, mm -hmm. is there. He breaks them apart, and he takes the 14-year-old and gets pushes him outside of the house where everybody else is. And the only person that's outside now is the 23-year-old with her six-month-old baby, no. her 11-month-old 11 11 baby, baby, and six-year-old child. Mm -hmm. So they're outside. So he's outside, he's fussing, he's raving, got the gun in his hand. And the 23-year-old sister says to him, why are you acting like this? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't be like this, stop it. Why are you acting like this? He looks at her and tells her, I will shoot you and your baby. And then shoots her in her chest yes. as she is holding the baby. her 11-month-old baby. Baby, they yes. both fall to the ground. Yes. The baby and the mother. Meanwhile, one account says eight seconds elapse, mm -hmm. and the 15 year old runs out the house with a 45. He has a gun. Yes. And he says to the 14 year old, you shot my ML sister and shoots him in the stomach. Yes. The 14-year-old. The 14-year-old. The 15-year-old shoots shot the 14-year-old in the just, stomach. Yes. That had just shot the 23-year-old. That, that had just, just shot the 23-year-old. So a brother, a 15-year-old brother, shoots his 14-year-old brother because the 14-year-old brother shot just a, shot the 23-year-old sister. Who died? Who died? Did anybody die? The sister, sister dies. dies. The 23-year-old. Yes. She is gone. Mom she gone. Died. And leaves behind an 11-month-old child and a 6-year-old child. The 14-year-old 14-year-old who got shot in the stomach, he ended up having emergency surgery. He survived. Mm -hmm. He's now facing first-degree murder charges. Mm -hmm. The 15-year-old ran away, got rid of the gun, and they picked him up later, mm -hmm. and they charged him with attempt murder mm -hmm. and use of a firearm. The 15-year-old and the 14-year-old both have criminal records mm -hmm. for burglarizing cars, and well, one account of, of, the, of the news said that they had a history of carrying guns. They had a reputation for carrying guns because they were stealing guns out of these, these cars mm -hmm. that they were burglarizing. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, they're in Florida. Mm -hmm. mm. So let me break that down yeah, do to the statute you. Of that let one. me break it down to mm. you. He can be charged as, as an, an adult. adult and get life in prison, yes. yep. which will more likely happen in Florida, yes. which is completely red now. Yes. Because mm -hmm. in Florida, you can now get the death penalty for rape. Yes. The Ooh. only state in Ooh. the United States where you can get the death penalty for rape. Wow. Yes. So he will be charged as an adult. And he is looking at life imprisonment. The 14-year-old. The 14-year-old. 14 14 Do you think the 15-year-old would be staying your ground? Could claim staying your ground? I think the 15-year-old has a very Bradford. good uh, yeah. uh, self-defense for uh, self-defense of others. Mm -hmm. Because the fact that it was only eight seconds later yeah. Yeah. and he had that gun in his hand, he doesn't know that the gun is not in his hand. I would absolutely, if I was his defense attorney, be arguing 
defense of others. Because mm -hmm. he, you don't know whether or not he was going to shoot the kids. Right. Like you have no idea what was going to happen next. Correct. So. Absolutely. Especially given the fact that he had also pointed a gun at him yep. and said, I will shoot you in your head. Yep. So you're now shooting. He, yeah, self-defense of others. And I think he's, he's going to have a good shot at, at prevailing at that. Mm. But mm. the 23-year-old <gasps> is now Gone. dead. Dead. That's crazy. And we're Over. talking about black folks. And they all black. Yes, they are. And oh. guess what? It was over Christmas gifts. That's that stuff. That's that's that, that's, that stuff. that's that's. that's <laughs> if you don't nip that stuff in the bud, you don't nip that stuff in the bud. Behavior of no restraint produces this. That's that stuff. You don't nip that stuff in the bud. Yep. That's, that's, that's sociopathic behavior. Yes, oh, for it sure. is. Can, can we talk about that for past. a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's past regular entitlement. Yeah, that, that, you don't you're wake beyond. up one morning and decide that I'm just going to shoot my sibling over some gifts. You you've already. And here's the thing: you have to have a certain level of courage to pull that trigger. Yeah. So the fact that you got the carriage to, to pull that? the trigger over some gifts mm -mm. and shoot your sister while she's holding oh, your baby, baby your yeah, niece, niece or nephew yeah, yeah. in her arms. So you tried to kill both of them because you shot him in the chest. He, care. Yep. he didn't care. He did not. Devaluation of human right. life, desensitized, and, and no restraint, all working at the same time. This is jealousy, this. envy, and strife at its I mean, to the end and Abel. This is, is, is all day long. That's it's, exactly what I it's thought. What yeah. the name it's of all it's day long. It's what the name of this show should be, Entitlement Gone Wrong. Mm -hmm. Listen, entitlement is always going wrong. So, yep. Tom, let me ask you. You mentioned that was his sister, and they went to the grandmother's house. Where, where's, where are the parents in all of this? The grandmama and the mama mm -hmm. were in the house. The uncle was able to take the fort. The uncle thought... By separating them, yeah. he was diffusing the situation, yeah. and he took him outside. It so the uncle, to him it didn't occur to him that an this issue. Yeah, nut you're gonna shoot your sister. Shoot, shoot, shoot his sister, Jeez. who was, by the way, buying him gifts. Mm -hmm. That's the other piece that we're not talking about. She was actually buying him gifts. Yeah. So you were getting a gift or gifts, but you don't like what you, you didn't getting. like what you were getting, or you thought the other brother was, was getting, getting more than what you were getting. So you. Should Shot the person who was taking her on her hard earned money and buying you something that she didn't have to buy you. That's that stuff. That's man. the stuff that I'm I talking can't, about. I can't. And so she's saying, stop this. Don't act this right, way. Right. Why are you doing and you're, this? And she's and talking to her baby brother. Right. And your response just is, I will shoot down. you and, and your baby. baby. Uh-uh. And then shoot her? Like, and you did it. And you <laughs> and then you did it. Like you did it. Can this cut? So I'm struggling. can this be? Pre what what prevents this. this from happening? Because uh, clearly you tattooing have... their names <laughs> on their tail when they're young. Because see all this stuff about on uh, corporate punishment, whatever. Well, now, they, I don't they, believe they, they I, say you can't. You you, you know who you said that the, the, the society at large who today said that? is saying that you cannot spank the children. Let me pay my electric bill. Corporate punishment. You got CPS and child protective services. Because I didn't see a little smock on the child there. So let me let me step in here where this is concerned. Can I just say whatever before you say that? Let me be Help clear. Us. I'm not about to step in here with some gentle parenting. Okay? But there are some parents that are afraid of CPS. But, let me, yeah, but yeah. let me be. But let me be clear about something. The when we used to spank, and I like I've said many times before, we are never advocating beating children. Okay, Correct. so let's be very clear. We're Correct. not talking about child abuse at all. We are talking about the simple a, a, a smack or two or three, depending upon the seriousness of the situation. And we're not talking about any child face or any of that the reasonable parenting that we many of us received mm. as children go get right? your switch off the tree but let's be clear about what was true also that ain't reasonable. when that <laughs> when that happened yeah we're not talking about the switch when <laughs> when those things happened we were also experiencing many of those things more often than not, one, in intact families. Yeah, two parents okay? homes. Yeah, I got you. So that's item number one. Yeah. And item number two, they didn't come without explanation. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
right? So there was actual parenting because, going on, right? Yes. And it wasn't like I'm not, and and more often than not, you weren't getting spanked for stuff you didn't know was wrong. Right. You were getting spanked for stuff that you had already been taught not, not to, to do. do. Right. And then you chose to do it That's anyway, good, I mean, and good. you were dealing with the consequences yeah. of that. The problem in this generation is a lot of people who still are using spanking are using spanking in place of mm. actual understanding. Setting the standard, which only yeah creates rage in children. Yeah. So if I don't even know what I'm getting spanked for, and you are using physicality in order to control my behavior, but you've given me no understanding, there's there's nothing that one can do. Even the Bible talks mm -hmm. to about, and all thy getting, get what? Understanding. understanding. Yeah. Because if we don't have it, then we're only as powerful as we have access to our children, and as long as they are afraid. The minute they stop because guaranteed it will come the minute they stop being okay. afraid the minute that we don't have access if they don't have understanding they will not apply those same morals principles and values outside of your reach or your consequence yep. Yep. so we don't get to abdicate our responsibility as parents and then in its place put physical punishment Correct. and very often lazy parenting mm -hmm. does either none of none that, that. Yep. Or it does the extreme of one of those. I'm going to beat you behind for everything that you do, but I've provided no understanding. Mm -hmm. Or I want to talk to you about absolutely everything, Sunny, because I don't want anything <laughs> bad to happen to you. And I want you to know it just really concerns me that you are upset with me because I want to be your best friend. Your mommy is your <laughs> best Foolish. friend. Would you please deal with that for okay? a second, Alvin? Just deal with we're, that for a second. We're best friends. And, no. and I would never do anything to hurt you. Mm -hmm. And if that means that I have to skip what it is that I'm doing, Doing this week, I'm gonna get you the stuff that you need, okay, Tattoo and the stuff that you want. Tattoo your name. Okay. We gotta stop trying so to be like, the kids' friends. So like, why we, we gotta parent, cut this out? Are we are parents, and parents can have a loving and friendly mm -hmm. relationship right. with it. their children right. without being their friends. Yeah. Yeah. And until your children are adults, they don't ever step into the friend category. Mm -hmm. There are some parents that are able to develop real friendships with their children, but that's at the adult level. Thank you. Until your children are full-blown, independent, and beyond. active contributors to this universe, mm -hmm. there, it is just a parent-child relationship, right. period. As warm and fun and playful as it can be, it, those lines should be very clear. Come on. So, very clear. And I agree 100%. Let me play the other side for radio. Let's have some conversation about parents who mm. have tried to control their kids. Because mm -hmm. I've had these conversations uh -huh. before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a real thing. Right. So in this case, you as tell adults it. adults or as children? Well, in this, case, in this case, I'm thinking about the fact that you said that these ch these two kids, 14 and 15, have a history of guns. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Had a history My of robbing. Kevin right? Swan. I which know means, going now. Which means this was not surprising that right. they had a that, that one of them had a gun no, in the house. Right. Both, Both of guns. them. This is not Both surprising. No, it's not. Okay. So clearly, hopefully, Nobody somebody should have corrected that behavior right. to say you don't need a gun in this house. But that didn't happen, mm -mm. right? But you don't just wake up one morning and decide That's what he's that saying. you're going to get a gun. You get that. There, there is something that started happening way, way before, that. before you got I to that to level. That. Mm -hmm. Now, you may start to try to address the behavior when you see them with the gun, but you should have been addressing the behavior that was leading to the behavior. 100%. But but a lot of parents did not do it early. That's the gentle and lazy parenting that yes. I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Now you're reaping the fruit my, my. of what you didn't deal with my, early. My, my, yeah. my, my, now my. the question is, I'm asking, what mm. do parents do at this point when you know your kid is out of control? I don't know what to tell you other than pray and get you some oil because <laughs> I just don't know what else to I mean, for real. Because because they are not, I mean, it's John, real. I'm telling you, man, there are a lot of parents. No, 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 no. I know. Absolutely. They're I'm, not. I'm saying I don't, I don't know. I don't have that, the magic answer for that. You, you, and the reason I don't have the magic answer for that because I don't understand how you 
God will always show you signs before they get to that point. They don't just get to Tom. that point overnight. You, but and when so you say point, when you say God will show you signs, you're also ex expecting that you we're dealing with people who have a relationship yeah, a God with the consciousness Lord. Consciousness that's there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But not even that. Uh, but but I but it ain't got to be that deep, Al. I'm I'm saying, okay, let's let's say this. We have all seen these kids real young, two acting and three up, years up. old. Yep. And people were laughing and letting it, yeah. Twerking. Come on. And twerking, nobody did anything about it. Cussing everybody, everybody out. out. Yes. Two fighting. Years two years old. Fighting years their old. siblings. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about, like, not just, like, just wrestling or, or just having sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about they're terrorizing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, I'm not talking about two or three years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that behavior goes unchecked. Where do you think you're going from there? You're right. not just you're not just going to go to the straight A students and cute. all this other stuff. That's Ain't just nothing cute. cute about it. Cute. All you're doing Rude is children? watching Whoa. a sociopath being developed. Mm -hmm. Just Work. like you seeing that twerk uh -huh. and all that is is a hoe in training. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. I'm just calling it what I see. That's just a hoe in training. You see a two year old and a three year old twerking, and you don't want to correct that behavior. Yeah, you're you're in the building. This, this man out here in the streets. You got the kinder hoes. Come on, the kinder hoes. I mean, I'm for real though. You, you, you. But you're not doing anything about it. You're thinking it's cute, and then you're like, so, look at that, and so, you're taking videos of that it's stuff. Simple. You gotta, you gotta start somewhere, Kev. You pulling, gotta cut it off. Pulling the line, you gotta pull the lines in as the parent and take some responsibility. Well, I agree. For the that. allowance of the behavior and set new standards. But so here's the thing, though: you can't set new standards if you're not living them yourself. That's, that's what I want Alvin to see because what that's what that's what that's what that's because the point is you're talking about not checking the kid, but in many respects you but didn't the check the boyfriend. Her, right. Yep. And you saw the signs of the boyfriend, and, and you what? didn't check the boyfriend, Lord so now he's beating you, and now he cussing you out and now you got a child by him and you hoping everything gonna be fine and, say, you say, and what you say the same DNA and the same, same thing kid. is happening with your kid hey, can I say this to you I agree with you 100% there is 100%. no other side of radio 100%. on that particular 100%. argument we all agree 100%. with that yeah. 100% 100% I still they think are you gotta set standards what though they see. but what I'm saying to you is and to y'all is now the grandparents come in right oh my God. and we know that grandparents are inheriting <laughs> bad kids oh my bad situations Situations because the parents didn't do what they were supposed to do. And, and, and I'm trying to say, you talking about the, the 25 year old grandparents? <laughs> no, 75. Because they are the well, well, no, you, Tom, got, you got 45, Tom, 45, 45 Tom, and 20 now. Let's, let's put it out there. Okay. Let's put it out there. Let's put it out there. Let's put it out there. Let's put it The grandma might be 45. There are some. There are plenty of them. And Jay, you can actually attest to this. I had a 32 year old grandparent just got killed this year. Got killed. But she in the street fighting at two o'clock in the morning. Thirty-two. Yeah. Thirty-two. But yep. Todd, what I'm saying is, but you if you do had a kid have... at sixteen and your kid has a kid at six at fifteen, you're gonna be a thirty-two year old Correct. grandparent. She had a second grader. Lord grandchild. Jesus. Well, then your kid had your ki a kid even earlier. But you get what I'm saying. But yeah. my point in this question is, and Alvin, you know this to be true, working in the school system. 100%. You had a lot of grandparents mm. that mm. didn't ask for this. They sure did they, not. They did not ask for this. I but they not. realized for the sake of these kids, I'm going to have I'm gonna to, have step, to in. step in. Yep. And now yep. they are inheriting the mess a disaster. that the parents did not do their job. 100%. And so now the question is, hey. That is a hundred percent true. How, what, you may have to have some punitive that? damages on some of these thirty-two-year-old, thirty-five-year-old, forty-year-old grandparents and parents when these kids start acting a fool, and then maybe that may force them into some degree of now parenting and setting some standards to determine what is and what is not acceptable. So yeah, but where is it going to come from? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There Where's we go. Where is it going right to come there. from? Yeah, can we keep this real? Because y'all talking about the grandparents and the reality of it for many of those grandparents, they were the one that set the cycle into place in the first place, Agreed. in the beginning. Yeah. In the and first so place. now what they're seeing, yeah, 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 yeah now you're seeing the generational piece yeah, of it the roosters. because they had the kid at 12 and 13 years yes. old, and then their kid had a uh, kid at 12 and 13 year old, 14 year old, and now the kid of the kid is now growing up mm -hmm. and then they're terrorizing everybody and everybody said, oh, the grandma or the grand, well, grandma, don't nobody talk about the granddaddy because granddaddy ain't nowhere to be he found. ain't nowhere to be found. Right. <laughs> but the, he so the grandma, I'm tired of all y'all. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he just leaves. Leave. <laughs> he left when he dipped when she was 12 When she, she got pregnant, yeah. yeah, yeah she, when he, he knocked up, in. he did. Right. And yeah. so, and, and he probably was 17, 18 years
years old. Now, we ain't talking about that well, pedophile. Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was 17 and 12. Yeah, well, I ain't, I'm not too old, but we But can we there. agree that there's a, there is somewhat of a difference in this generation, right? I mean, all, no question, we no grew question. up, no and, question, there, and there were some people that didn't have good family backgrounds, but I ain't never heard no child throwing a, a, a video game up against a wall, right? I, I mean, can we say here, there's just something different here. There's no that, you that mean can, can I tell you? Who, <laughs> can, can I tell you on that? Can I tell you on that? I think I can I tell you who I was, who the, my perception of who threw those type of tantrums were people that didn't look like us. Yeah, Correct, that you right? Did. And that used to happen all the time. And that right. used to happen all the time. And you know, because they've and, been and they doing had, gentle yes, parenting. Right. And they had gentle parenting, <laughs> and so you know, I would see that. And you know, we not all amongst been, us. No, no, no. But right. we've all been in a grocery store. Yeah. Oh, yes. We've all Connor, been in a grocery yes. store. Connor, and Connor, we, and, and, <laughs> and we, we have all seen. We've all seen that. I remember one time AJ and I, uh, and we were all in the grocery store. And some little kid threw a temper tantrum, and he looked up at us like, huh? Like, <laughs> you can do that? So, like, so are you saying that? Because like, we're almost out of time. <laughs> Look, so let, let's get to the chase. We're almost out of time. Are you saying? You mean he's going to live? That we have taken on the characteristics of others? If you Dominic talk culture, yeah. to the elders, they yes. will tell you. If you do talk they will to the elders, you. They, they, will tell you. they will tell you they that integration you. wasn't always all good. No. They will tell you. They will tell you mm -hmm. we lost the village. We yeah. lost. Our spiritual mm -hmm. compass. Mm -hmm. They would tell you that we have taken on traits, mm -hmm. behavior, and be and actions of those that was foreign to our community, mm -hmm. and we've taken it on as our own. And when they catch a cold, we, we catch, catch them pneumonia. Up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. But I don't never hear them shooting people up on Christmas. They don't. They don't. Okay. No. They don't. So because, not like talking about. Because here's the thing, and they, we're we're not going to be able, to we're not going to be able to unpack this. Well, I mean, you get school shooters, but like you, we're not going to be able to fully unpack this because we're running out of time. But the thing is that when you take on something from another culture, but you don't actually live inside of that culture, mm. it has a different impact yeah. when you do it. It's kind of like the warning to say, "Don't try this at home," yeah. because there are certain things that can you can get away with inside of a context that when you take it out of that context. Context. It doesn't work in this space. Mm -hmm. We don't have the things that allow a kind of the um, nurturing and inoculation of the consequences right. that exist for other individuals. So it's just not the same for us. We've we've got to get back to our roots, and we're not, you know down, you know, belittling any other culture. It's just that there's certain things that are true in certain cultures, and they don't fare well yeah. in others. They are cross-pollinated at all. We got to end there. Great way to end the Can show. Can we do out. part two on this? We're going to have to talk about it, yeah, man. We, we out, because I think we got yeah, more to say about this. We do. There's we, a lot We, we got to run, y'all. Yeah. Check out our bonus content also on our social yes. media outlets. You need to check out the bonus content. Yes. I got a bone to pick with Anton, and you need to know about it. <laughs> Whatever. Check, check it out. I'm just trying to make He's sure that one of them got no guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're out. Thank you for checking us out. Great way to start the year, guys. Great topic. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing to someone else. Peace. Okay, I hope you loved it as much as we did. Thank you for joining us for another fire show for the crew listen you can catch us on youtube facebook instagram and any streaming platform that you're using for your podcast share with a friend expand the family listen we're trying to do this thing with all of you as often as we possibly can we're looking forward to you joining us again for our next show